The 1970s was an epic decade for the horror genre, particularly for films that dealt in some way with Satanism or the occult. While The Exorcist can justifiably be considered the king, there were quite a few others that definitely stood out as quality pieces of cinema definitely worth your time. One such film was 1971's The Mephisto Waltz. Helmed by Paul Wenkos, The Mephisto Waltz stars a young Alan Alda as a struggling musician and Jacqueline Bissett as his increasingly disturbed spouse. They're an apparently happy couple despite the former's feelings like he has wasted his once promising musical potential. The first 30 minutes or so are focused on the faintly unsettling relationships that bubble to the surface as distrust between the primary players simmers. And of course from there, crap hits the metaphorical fan. As devil worshippers enter the fray and the evil you'd expect to come along with them starts bringing the scares. While not as viscerally shocking as The Exorcist, there's a 70s horror flavor to the film that many filmmakers have gone about attempting to evoke even to this day. For fans of The Exorcist, the Mephisto Waltz is a left field must watch. Its inherent weirdness is its most compelling feature. The nerve jangling Jerry Goldsmith score keeps things hectic and there are genuine risks taken amongst the moodiness. It's like waking from a dream that leaves a lingering, chilly aftertaste. You won't get it out of your head very quickly. So do what you can to track it down, give it a watch.